Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for June 8th to the 15th. I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you are new or whether you are returning, a massive thank you to you. Let's take a look and see what's going on for you this week. We've got the Knight of Cups. Nice. We'll dive into... Excuse me? Oh, what is this? Yeah, baby. Oh, this is amazing. I love it so much. Um, the Ten of Pentacles. I will dive into your amulet in just a minute. Something something really good is going to happen this week. I'm feeling really, really positive energy. From a place of tumultuous mindset, difficulties, challenges, maybe obstacles, maybe over-analysis, paralysis, or feeling really stressed out, comes this shift in your vibration, shift in your frequency, shift in your perspective. Gorgeous Come on. Oh my God. This is amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> Hold on. Let me, let's, let's put these nicely because I like things to be perfect. Uh, okay. 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 So we've got the Knight of Cups. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Two of Swords, the Six of Swords, Emperor, Sun, and Ace of Pentacles. What? So here's the thing. When I was pulling out your amulets for this week, the amulet I got for you is Sana. This is from Starcy Jewels. If you want to pick it up, it's in the description box below. Sana has the following crystals. So if you have these crystals, meditate with them, wear them this week, use them, or you can purchase the amulet. Morganite, Rose Quartz, and Green Aventurine. The blend together and this bracelet, this amulet, is all about healing. Healing your heart center, healing for self-love, healing after, you know, abuse, trauma, difficulty, hardship, a hard breakup, etc. This piece is meant for you to crack open your heart chakra so you can receive from the highest energy of all, which is love. When you operate from a place of love, self-love, self-worth, self-respect, and healing and giving love to others, you are able to get everything that you desire because this is the highest vibration of all and the universe works best when you're in this vibration of love. The Knight of Cups tells me that somebody is going to come give you an offer. I will say to you that for some it is romantic, but for most of you this has to do with your money. Your ability to learn how to fall in love with yourself, your ability to learn how to value yourself, respect yourself, honor yourself, is actually opening up these massive doors of great abundance for you. With the Ten of Pentacles here, I am seeing a windfall, luxury, abundance, stability, long term. Maybe this is a promotion. Maybe this is a new contract. It's something that's going to set you up for the long term. Now, here's the thing. With the Two of Swords and the Six of Swords, I think in the beginning, you're going to be in this mind of like over analysis paralysis or of doubting I feel like you might not necessarily believe that you're worthy of this or you might feel like it might not work out for you or you might feel like it's too good to be true like there's that um cynical mindset just for a little bit though not like not the whole time and I think this is happening because you almost like can't believe that you're being blessed by the universe in this way sorry I'm just realizing my horn is like sticking out it's my little Aries horn what will happen though is in the beginning, you're not going to like, you're going to be in shock. You're going to be in awe about this offer. You're going to feel like, what the heck is happening? Do I even deserve this? I can't believe this is happening for me right now. Like, you're going to be in that mindset. But very quickly, maybe after talking with some friends, maybe after like reviewing and assessing the offer, you're going to turn around and you're going to say, you know what? I deserve this. And your mindset is completely going to shift and transform like the way you're viewing this offer the way that your your perspective your just your lens uh, towards this offer towards this new opportunity with the Sagittarius card here in Jupiter Jupiter is luck Jupiter is abundance Jupiter is expansion so I am most definitely seeing here a major blessing come through this is like abundance growth expansion there is a massive illumination and so many blessings coming your way uh, with this. And today, actually, the day that I'm recording this video is the great uh, Jupiter North Node expansion, okay? So it's a North Node expansion, North Node Jupiter conjunction in Taurus, sorry. So there is a lot to uh, receive today, a lot to receive in terms of communication, in terms of your destiny, in terms of your fate, in terms of abundance, and anything to do with Taurus. So that's material, wealth, your values, etc. 
with the Emperor, the Sun, and the Ace of Pentacles, I do feel like there is a boss or a manager or somebody in a very, very, very high up position here who is like, who's got their eyes on you, who is turning around and going like, I need, I, I really need to give Virgo this offer because Virgo deserves all of this. They're looking at you and they're going, Virgo is like the person for this job. Virgo is the right one that will receive all this abundance. Like they're looking at you like you are the golden goose. Is that a saying? I think it is. Um, and they really want to give you this offer. They want to be able to get you in this role, in this position. I don't know what it is. It's it almost makes me feel like they want to turn around and go, hey, Virgo, like you're the right person for this job. We want to hire you. Here's a contract. Here's a documentation. Are you going to accept it? Sign on the dotted line. Like, it's just crazy where you're going to be like, is this what is this? Is this happening for me right now? Is this for real? Is this is this real life? And I'm here to tell you, yes, this is very much real life. Yes, this is very much happening for you. Yes. How exciting, how lucky, how fortunate are you? Now let's get a love reading here. If you want to book a private session with me, take a look at the description box below. Um, okay, for some of you, this might be a love offer. For some of you, this might very well be a love offer because you even got getting to know each other. You deserve love and retreat. So for some of you, business, career, money, and for others, love. So either way, you're just like new offers all over the place, new doors, Somebody is like somebody who wants to bless you. Somebody sees you as like this amazing person that is so deserving. So remember, oh my God, double ace of pentacles. Yeah, somebody is definitely going to be giving you some really, really amazing offer here. Uh, either in love. Oh my gosh, the ten of cups and the ten of wands here. And what's this card here? This is the moon. Okay, but oh my god, this one was an extra card. Dude, this is crazy. You got three tens and two aces. Do you know what this do you know what this means? Not only are you completing cycles where you've kept yourself stuck and limited and bound, but you're literally opening up new doorways, Virgo. This is incredible. Wow. This person is looking at you like they just, you're it for them. They want to give you the world. You also need to remember that you are deserving of the world. You deserve this. You deserve these blessings. You deserve these new opportunities coming your way. Whether they're financial, romantic, platonic, whatever they are, you deserve to start this new chapter in your life because it is everything that you have ever dreamed of. And you have worked so hard, sorry, at healing who, like your suffering, your difficulties, your challenges. I'm going to pop a video over from my channel for you to watch after this to really help you um, work through any hesitations that you have because babe open yourself up to this okay this is an incredible opportunity of a lifetime all right virgo that is your reading for today thank you for your likes your comments your shares your subscribes we will see you later alligator peace out bye